guys <clears throat> today I'm gonna do uh, the old coach road in Awakuni uh, which is part of the uh, mountain to sea ride that they have from the mountain all the way down to the ocean um, but I'm not looked in that far today yesterday in the evening I did the other uh, half of this trail but I've decided to start at the other end uh, so I get to see something new and I'm on my way to go see that awesome bridge um, and get some uh, drone footage, some better drone footage and some better, uh, some better footage of that today because the sun wasn't really on it yesterday but I'm hoping the time of day will be perfect now anyway. All right. Yep, this is an old Coach Road, all right. Cool. That's what we want. Oh, wow. Uh, and then look at that. Sorry. When you see that in the background, that's awesome. I have to take a photo. It's one of those things I just can't help myself. We're just around the corner. <laughs> So this bridge here is not being used anymore. The rails are gone too. I think the track goes down there. Wicked. So just on your right. Thank you. Beautiful. That's what New Zealand's all about. Coming to places like this. Great thing is here we can ride here. Oh, that's beautiful. So nice to be able to ride in New Zealand forest. You know, there's so many places you're allowed to hike, but there's so much more that could be done for biking. You need like long, long cross country tracks that follow mountain peaks for the whole country. Some more people up ahead. I've been making my way up this gorge. Beautiful. This is definitely a family trail, but your kids will work really hard in places. 
so just be prepared. Oh man, just have to say, you know, looking at the big trees around here, you can see that it's been untouched for a long time, and some of the giant are still there. Okay, what have we got here? Oh yeah, nice little bridge, little crossing. Oh yeah, picked up some altitude, right? There's a gorge to my right. It looks like it's well over 100 meters drop. Nice, that's the one. It's the one I've been following in to get to this bridge. All right, so I guess now I'm heading down that big gorge towards that bridge hopefully so everything I'm riding down here I'll be climbing soon back up again thank you cheers Yeah, this is going to be a climb. Slow, steady climb. Alright. Oh. Gotta be careful around these corners, people are coming the other way. I'm down the bottom of his belly. Back down to where the train tracks are. Okay, so now I know what I'm in for. Come on. Here we go. Alright. Cool. So there you go. That's definitely the biggest downhill of the trip I'd say and unfortunately the biggest uphill for me getting back at least I take the road back all right how old I'm gonna save say 500 300 count in cent centuries because the growth rings aren't clear, it's not easy to tell the age of this tr a tree like this. But it's safe to say this tree we lived for at least 100 years. Many generations of insects, birds and people enjoyed this tree as part of their daily lives. Why did it fall? Old age? Root decay? Blowing down in the storm? Who knows? It's just part of the life cycle of the forest. Indeed. Beautiful tree. Amazing trees.
here. Thanks. So here's a little bit of history on the old coach road. The reason they called it that was uh, back in the late 1800s and early 1900s, the railway going between Auckland and Wellington wasn't completely finished. And at a certain point, so they'd basically been building a railway in Auckland and also building a railway from Wellington, um, working their way towards each other, and then at a certain point they would connect the two. So during uh, between 1906 and 1908, when they were building that connection, um, the railway was still in use, but to get the people from one um, side to the, or from one train to the other, they'd basically catch a horse and coach uh, between the trains, and that's why uh, the name, the Old Coach Road, has uh, remained and that uh, refers to that period of time. Love this. So, um, yeah, let's ride across it. One more time. I might have to do it three times. Who cares? I'm here on my own. It's a beautiful bridge. How often do you get the feeling of being this high up on an old bridge? So cool. There's a friend of mine who came and did this a couple of years ago on a bike and um, that inspired me and thought, made me think, oh, I need to go do that too. So there's uh, this trail and then there's another one um, which just slips my mind right now what that one's called, but that one's got 31 bridges on it, and one and some of them are over 100 metres tall, so that's another one I want to do, but, uh, oh yeah, the Timber Trail, that's what that one's called, but I won't get time today, um, <clears throat> but I will get time to ride this, and then I'll probably head back uh, and have some food and a beer or something like that. Cool. Choo! <laughs> this is cool, isn't it? Riding in the tunnel. Cool, so pretty much all downhill now from memory. Oh, beautiful. So lovely, nice way to finish it.
appear to be anyone coming this way. Little bit of road to go. I'm done. Oh. I'm going to sleep well tonight in the back of my car. Nice to get worn out. Makes sleep so much better. All right. Going guys, so good. Mm. It's all right, guys. Mm. All right, back again. So what I'm going to do is quickly go try and get some of the sunset on the mountain if I can. Just uh, a picture of that. And then I'm going to get changed and go have some food and beer. So really nice day here. It's really, really enjoyable. And the drive here was amazing. So it's been a really, really good day all in all so far. Looking forward to a good night's sleep too. Alright, see ya.